Hey, it's LSFT here today, and before I start on today's video, I would like to introduce our new Instagram account, at LSFT videos. You can see some daily updates on my Annex 450H+, which may not be shown on any future videos, and you can reach out to me directly via direct messaging on Instagram if you have any questions. And now, let's start with today's video. Today we're here to look into an issue that I've seen many NX owners have reported. The left hand side outer rear view mirror vibrating while driving. First thing is, I have not noticed my NX vibrating while driving, but we'll focus on that rear rear mirror and see if it is a problem on my vehicle as well. But let's look into this site. We are now on the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. NHTSA, which is part of the United States Department of Transportation. There, this website gives you information on vehicle safety, and this site gives you access to safety information on vehicles. So you can see here, there's a text box that actually you can put in your VIN number, or you can actually go in and type in the year of your vehicle, brand, and then the model. So you can see here, I've typed 2022 Lexus NX. And you can see here, we have the 2022 Lexus NX 450H Plus SUV all-wheel drive, which is the vehicle that I own. So I'm gonna click on it and see what it actually says. But then you would say, this is the United States website, right? So the reality is I am in Canada, but this actually is a very good reference site because all the vehicles that are made in North America are actually built similar, and they all may have similar issues as well. It's either they're made in Japan or they're made in Cambridge, Ontario. So let's give it a try and go into the site and see what we can see. So now we are on the 2022 Lexus NX 450H Plus site, and you can see here it says that there has been two recalls, one investigation, and two complaints. So let me scroll down and see what this says. So here again, it says this is the rating. Overall safety rating has not been rated yet. So that's why you can see here, it doesn't say anything about it being rated. Everything is not rated in the safety ratings. So talking about safety, here is the recommended safety technologies. So they're saying here is it's been verified by NHTSA or the manufacturing providing information to NHTSA and and telling them that these are things that they meet so you can see here it says forward collision warning is standard lane departure warning is standard crash imminent braking is standard dynamic brake support is also standard and when i click on here it will actually break it down even more information about the safety information so let's now move down to here and, and see what it says so if you need to look at the recall information you can provide your vin and then it'll show more information but when you look at here, there's complaints. So there are two complaints and probably I will do another video on complaints of the NX overall. So I'm not gonna go through this information. And then you go to the recall. So these are the two recalls that people are aware of. And you may think about it as, oh, hold on. I thought there was three. Okay, so there are two safety recalls and there's one that it was a service campaign, which is not safety related. So the first one here is the missing welds. And we all know this uh, in early days where there were some missing welds on some annexes, but not all of them that were recalled actually needed work. And then the second one, which actually impacted more than annex vehicles is the stability control system. So this actually impacted like the Ralph fours, the LS, the LX, and all a bunch of vehicles. And this one was really just a software update, and it did impact 458,110 vehicles. So this one, I my car actually has done this recall. It's just a software update. Okay, and then now let's look at investigations. This is another one that I'll probably not talk about today, but this one is quite interesting. It impacts a lot of vehicles, and let's make this one a different video as well. The one that we need to look at is really here, the 46 manufacturer communications. Probably won't go through this today because this is gonna be an extremely long video and it'll be too boring. 
So I'm just going to go and look at the first one. And that's the one that you came to this video for. This is December 20th, 2023, right? We're going into the future. So somehow NHTSA knows that this issue is going to happen in the future. I guess someone was ready for Christmas and they decided to put 2023 in instead of 2022. Anyways, let's expand this sense and have a look here. So it does say that some 2022 and 2023, or that's a 2 2023 model, year NX250, 350, 350H, and the NX450H Plus vehicles may exhibit a condition in which the left-hand side outer rear view mirror vibrates during vehicle operation. The mirror vibration can be observed while driving at speeds of 35 miles per hour or 56 kilometers per hour or above. Follow the repair procedure in this bulletin to address this condition. So we expand here. It does say 2022 to 2023, all the bottles. And here we have manufacturer communications. So this is the bulletin that they're talking about. And we'll move over to that right now. All right, so now we've actually opened up that PDF. So it says here, left-hand side outer rear view mirror vibration while driving. And it actually says it applies to the US and Mexico market. So the so folks in Canada, I don't know why they didn't put Canada as well, but maybe Canada has their own technical service bulletin. I don't know. Um, maybe bringing this to the dealer um, in Canada, they can actually reference it and find the actual document for Canada. I'm hoping that that could be found. So you can see here, it does say 2022 to 2023, all of these four models. And this is actually the same introduction that we were looking at. Let's scroll down. Okay, uh, let's keep on going. Okay, so here it actually shows the warranty information for the US market and the Mexico market. So they're saying that warranty is, base, is covered under the Lexus basic warranty. And it's 48 months or 50,000 miles, which, whichever comes first. And also for Mexico, it's also four years and 80,000 kilometers, whatever comes first. Okay, let's scroll down. And okay, this talks about the parts uh, as part of this fix. So it says here, for TMK or the Tahara plant made vehicles equipped with the panoramic view monitor camera. And this one is the TMK or Tahara plant, which is not equipped with the panoramic view monitor camera. So these are the part numbers. So I'm assuming the, the outer assembly because of the extra cameras. And you can see the mirror set is the same part and also the extension of the screws and the reinforcement metal is the same part number. So then when we look here into the TMMC, which is Toyota Motor Manufacturing Canada, made vehicles with camera and without camera. And they seem to have a lot more part numbers. I don't know why, probably different colors, I don't know. And then they have also a different mirror set number, but then the part number is essentially the same. Okay, now let's scroll down. Okay, so this is now the repair procedure. Let's have a look at what this says. So the first procedure is to check if the condition actually exists or not. So they're checking if the left-hand side outer rear mirror will vibrate when they're driving above 35 miles per hour or 60 or 56 kilometers per hour. And if it doesn't, then it's another problem. If it does, then it goes to step two. So it tells you to remove the left-hand side outer rear mirror from the door. And they actually have links to the repair manual to how do you remove it. However, unfortunately, these links don't work. They go to an error page. So I cannot show that, but at least it's telling us to that they will have to remove that rear view mirror from the door. Okay, and then it says, is the new left-hand side outer rear view mirror equipped with an outer mirror cover? Okay, if it's yes, then they actually have to do something else. If it's no, then they don't have to. Okay. All right, so now we see here, repair procedure, so remove and replace the mirror mounting stud bolts with the new mirror mounting stud bolts. So remove the three original mirror stud bolts. So let's see, let me zoom in. So it looks like 
There are three stud bolts to keep it connected to the door. And they're telling us to remove these three. Okay, let's go to the next. I'll keep this zoomed in. Install the new mirror mounting stud bolts. Fasten the shorter side of the mirror mounted stud bolts to the mirror base. Okay, so now they're putting it in back into these three stud bolt areas. Okay, tighten all three mirror mounting stud bolts with this torque. Okay, let's go down. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, insert the left hand side outer rear view mirror into the door panel and temporarily hold it with the place with a clip. Okay, so that's what that clip was for. So you see here we have a clip. That clip is actually to clip it onto the door. So this is where they have the servicing hole. And they, they when they put the bolts in, these are the, I believe these are the bolts. And then that's where they have the clip. And then they have the wiring that connects to the harness. Okay, then it says install the new reinforcement bracket to the door panel. Okay, so I think this is what's new. This is where they have the, re, like the reinforcement bracket to probably hold it tighter onto the door. So it says insert the reinforced bracket through the service hole. Okay. So they have the bracket here. It shows this is the bracket and they have the screw. So I think what they have done is though those stud bolts are now a little bit longer because of this reinforcement metal. So I think what happened is the original one is probably too short if they had to add this metal piece in. So that's why they had to replace these stud bolts as well. So tighten all three nuts, okay? And then they tell you to reinstall the door panel and then check if there's any more vibration. So great, um, this seems to be a simple change. As long as you know how to tear your door apart and get this, this, these parts in, you can even do it yourself. But again, it's under warranty. Get your Lexus dealer to make that change. It's actually not too bad because I did hear previously that previously if they, you actually needed um, better um, it, to fix this problem, they actually had to drill bigger holes into the door so that you, they use bigger screws to screw it in. But now I think with this reinforcement metal, it actually helps it without having to screw like bigger bolts in to keep it uh, holding onto the door. So there we have it. So now Lexus does have a fix to this vibration of the, of the left door rear view mirror. And I'm hoping that because they have this Bolton, and this Bolton was actually released in December 2022 and not three, I believe that the assembly line probably would have this done already. So any vehicles that are coming out in um, post that date probably has that done already. But again, I'm hoping that if you if, if your vehicle is built after that date and it still vibrates, do make sure you go to your dealer and show them this document. I will provide a link to this document in this video so that you can actually reference it whenever you need to. Hopefully this video gives you the information you need if you have this problem with vibrating left hand mirrors and you can bring this to the dealer and hopefully they can actually get the parts ordered and get it fixed. This seems to be an okay or, uh, fix because they're not drilling more holes as long as the service people clips all the clips back in so that you don't get any other vibrations on the door panel. If you found this video helpful and you would like to support my channel, you can definitely give me a super thanks and that will give me a token of appreciation. Thanks for watching this video and I will talk to you again next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thank. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.